Welcome to Fusion Creator. In this tutorial, you will learn how to register an application on Fusion Creator. A Fusion Creator application is your custom way of working with the APIs from FusionFabric.cloud. You group one or more APIs into an application that gives you the credentials to access the APIs. After signing in to Fusion Creator, you have several ways to register an application. One way is by accessing My Dashboard from the top right navigation bar. Click Register Application to open the application wizard. We will explore it later in this tutorial. The second way is by bookmarking the APIs or the datasets in a list. After that, in the Bookmarks menu, you will see the selected entities and you can register an application with them. The other way is by accessing the Solution Catalog. A solution groups several APIs, allowing you to consume related services. For example, choose US Consumer Banking from the Consumer Banking category. This will display the solution overview with the available APIs, its key features, how the solution works and the terms and conditions you need to agree to before using the APIs. In the case of datasets, follow the same steps. Clicking on a dataset card redirects you to the dataset details page, where you can see its update frequency, schema and a sample of the dataset. Jump back to the top of the page to register an application using that dataset. The app registered in this tutorial shows the use case from the US Consumer Banking solution. To integrate all the solution APIs into your application, click Register Application from the top of the page. The application wizard opens. Let's explore it. At the first step, you edit your application details. Enter the name of your app, a short description, and some category tags to help you track your application. At the second step, you select the building blocks that you want to register with your application. The building blocks are grouped into three categories, APIs, SPIs and datasets. You must include at least one in your application. If your app requires an SPI, you select the desired SPI and you provide the base URL. When your SPI implementation will go live, this URL must be reachable over the internet. Also, if you want to attach datasets to your app, you select the desired datasets. After you register a dataset, you will receive the invitation to use it, either at the email address attached to your Azure Active Directory account, or by the tenant ID and object ID of your service principal user from the Azure Active Directory. In this tutorial application, only APIs are used. For the API building block, select the desired APIs from the APIs tab. You can filter the search by category or by channel type. Remember that for the B2B APIs, the fields of the security tab are not mandatory. However, for B2C APIs, the reply URL is mandatory. Optionally, in the same tab, you can enter one or more IPs for whitelisting. The Events tab turns on when you select an API that has associated events. You can identify these APIs by the lightning icon that is displayed on their cards. If you select an API of this type, in the Events tab you subscribe to the events to receive notifications anytime they occur. All the selected building blocks are displayed at the top. Review them and if you change your mind, you can remove or add some more. When you're happy with your list, click Next to acknowledge the terms and conditions for your selection. Here's one short stop at the summary page before registering the application. Once registered, your application starts in development stage with a unique identification number that you can see here. Depending on the type of the authentication grant flow you intend to implement on your client application, you need to generate different credentials for each API channel type. Note that the B2B service and platform APIs support the client credentials grant flow, while the B2E and B2C channel types support the authorization code grant flow. 
For security reasons, the secret key is generated only once, so make sure to copy its value somewhere safe. Otherwise, you must generate another key and update your client application accordingly. Scroll down in the App Details page to review the selection of APIs. You can modify the list and even add more building blocks to your application by using the Edit button. Remember that you can always return to an application to edit, view its details, or to delete it from My Dashboard. In this tutorial, you are guided through the steps of the application wizard. For more information, check out the Postman tutorials from the Get Started guide or the rest of the Fusion Creator documentation.